All right. Advisor to major pro-Trump group runs racist newsletter. I know it might come as a shock to you that Turning Points USA, a wholesome organization run by uh, Charlie Kirk, a man with a normal-sized head, um, might have someone on their staff who engages in racist rhetoric. I mean, despite... I, I mean, ignore the past stories about how uh, members of the Turning Points USA team uh, got caught with leaked messages uh, using the N-word and different racial slurs. Ignore the fact that they have a history of using racial slurs in their corporate communications with one another. Ignore all of that. Um, just absolutely shocking that uh, Turning Points USA would have a, uh, a another racist running their communications team. Um, what? Who's, who is Hawks Haste? Also, Real Dan Cody, thank you so much for the raid. Good evening from the United States, uh, Jamie. Uh, shout out at Real Dan Cody. There we go. Everyone should go follow Real Dan Cody, especially if you want to know more about UK uh, politics. Uh, very knowledgeable, uh, very based content creator. Quincy, this is for you. Mia. What a racist working for Charlie Kirk couldn't be possible. I've been a bit triggered by football in the UK causing racism against the players. Not sure if you've seen that against the England team. I have heard about it. I don't know a whole lot about it, which is uh, if you want to know more about it, I guess I guess you should go follow uh, the real Dan Cody uh, because uh, I, I don't know much about sports um, or like racial politics in, in football. Um, Exiliax, hello. Super straight, dude. You gotta, you gotta up your uh, trolling game. It's 2 a.m., so you'll be lurking, but soon sleep. Yeah, get some sleep, okay? You've been working hard. Transphilic person, thank you for the follow. Though I suspect you are a troll account. But let's, uh, let's take a look at this article here. <laughs> it was an email so racist it might make a Ku Klux Klansman blush which is a really uh, fiery, fiery way to uh, start an article. So let's uh, dig into this. An advisor for the influential conservative youth organization, Turning Point USA, recently published an essay for subscribers uh, of his personal newsletter that, among other things, said, black people have become socially incompatible with other races and American black culture has evolved into an unfixable and crime-ridden mess. Holy shit. Yeah, this is um just a just a tad racist. Just just a, a little, little little racist there. Um and by little I mean incredibly. It also said white people aren't racist, but just exhausted with black people. Look, I'm I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm at a social gathering with my fellow whites, and one of them says, I, I'm not racist, I'm just exhausted of black people. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna think you're hella racist, dude. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it portrayed post-Civil War America as a 150 year long experiment? What? I, I'm sorry, not owning black people is just an experiment? I did a rage quit? Yeah, I think I'm gonna black out from just being so incredibly angry. To see whether black people could be taken from the jungles of Africa, enslaved, and then integrated into a majority white society. It said that experiment had failed. Dude, imagine how sad you have to be to be reading this stuff. Imagine how sad, how utterly, utterly pathetic you have to be. Have nothing else going on in your life. Uh, where you have to, like, you, you wake up in the morning and literally the only thing you have going for you is, like, 
I'm I'm white, and that makes me better than other people. Like, that's just pathetic. Transphilic. Hi, uh, hi, Jack. I'm just a happy pan romantic ace that likes long walk on the beach and watching rom coms. Well, that sounds nice. Hear me out. Only sub-Saharan black people have no Neanderthal genes. I... Bosun, I, I literally don't care about genetics. Genetics are irrelevant to any kind of social uh, discussion. <sighs> Hello, Nova. really be sponsoring Charlie Kirk, though? Uh, his big money donors. Genetics make flowers and butterflies? Sure. But we're not talking about butter flowers and butterflies. We're talking about society. Because we live in a society. Uh, insert meme. Um, people don't treat each other differently because we have an in-depth knowledge of the genetic structure of different human uh, groups. Like, if you're living in New York, you don't know what the genetic makeup is of anyone that you meet. Like, that doesn't dictate how you treat other people. And if you think it does, there's something wrong with you. Don't mind me, I'm just a check, a check with the deck. That's nice. Um, Cyanogic, thank you for gifting Exilex, Exilex, a, a gift sub. I appreciate you. Exactly, Jamie. You all can't read people's DNA by looking at them. No, ca uh, counter to, uh... Uh, Republican claims, I did not have a CRISPR uh, device installed in my brain. <laughs> the email, which included Turning Point's logo and a fundraising appeal for the group, was sent out April 29th by Rip McIntosh, an 85-year-old white Florida man who sits on the organization's advisory council. What? This is an organization meant to target children. Why do you have an 85-year-old advisor? What? A board that includes the likes of former Representative Michelle Bachman, which uh, that makes sense, and until his recent death, GOP megadonor Foster Freeze. The newsletter, which McKentish says has more than 25,000 subscribers, and which he sometimes publishes as often as five times a day, is frequently filled with culture war rants, conspiracy theories, racism, and other types of bigotry. But this email stood out even among that toxic stew. Wow. In an interview, McIntosh said that neither Turning Point nor its co-founder Charlie Kirk, whom he considers to be a personal friend, has any role in the publication of his newsletter. Despite the email using the Turning Point USA logo and a fundraising appeal for the group. Alright. I have to get a picture of this. I have, wait, where is this... Where is this newsletter? I need it. I I need I need it. Where where is it? Is it on Talking Points Memo? Why? Fuck.
really want this newsletter. I want I want to be able to look at the entire thing. Eyes of Rip McIntosh. Um, newsletter racist. find it in world war ii antifa nazis faced off with the likes of blm communists but now they are perhaps not so strange bedfellows the enemy of my enemy is now my friend what these excerpts 